Am I the only one who does this pod in their underwear? Just curious. Yes. Copy that. <laughs> well, I just I just threw my socks off literally right now because them hoes is hot than a bitch. Uh, and I'm recording. That's how this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas' toes is out right now. <laughs> Not the toes is out. Long as you oh my god! Hey, off. but I don't be wearing I don't be wearing sandals with the the thong in the middle. Shit, I hey. cannot do that. Hell no, nah, you ain't gonna catch me slipping. Um, actually, mine's is a toer. Not the uh, you, yeah, I'm you a definitely a toeing ass nigga. I'm a toer. <laughs> I just thought about it. Well, I've had the same ones for maybe like ten years. Damn, that's, that's some good nah, you quality. Need some new ones. No, nah, you need some new ones. Them things probably stink. Hell yeah, them things beat the hell up, probably. Yeah. Got Shit, a permanent. Those sandals have been, been to world. like fucking 80 countries. That's what I was about I to say. A, I'm like, that's so fire, bro. That's hella fire. Facts. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. I'm your host, Sky. Got your host, Damien, Jace, and CJ in the building. And you know what? We're going to start this pod off with shout out to Game of Thrones, Jane. Shame. Oh, man. Shame. Shame. Hey, all of us getting the shame. All of us getting the shame. I'm going to keep nah. the same energy. Jace probably got something to say. Watch. What you oh, got you, to say, Jace? You know Jace got something to say. <laughs> Listen, okay. So, so here's the thing, right? All you millions and millions of kids out there, do not, I repeat, do not do what I did last week. Drink the bomb. I'm so shamed and, and and horrified to to admit this because I succumb succumbed yeah, we know what to peer pressure. <laughs> I, I knew because, he was gonna say something. Because, because you know, Damn, I was thinking LaShawn Strickland. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking LaShawn Strickland. It was on my lips, it was on my tongue. You know what I mean? Hey, and then yo. I just felt all the haterade come my way. Whoa. <sighs> That's because we were spitting valid points. And you what? know really? how did paper, that end? And you know on paper he was supposed to get it done. Tenfold. If you have uh, been living wait, 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 under pause, a rock, pause before we keep going. The opposite. Hey, man, you get a new haircut? That's what what's going on. No, it's not new. I, I, He's I, growing, I'm growing it out. Oh, yeah. I like it. Look good. Yeah, thank you. No homo. Look, look a little Latino, huh? <laughs> what are they doing? Hey, hey Rasta, Rasta Damien is crazy though. <laughs> <laughs> look at this pinky out mug. Yo, yo, nah. <laughs> He added out. He had it out to begin with. Back. <laughs> hey, he hey. had it out to begin with. Listen, if, if if y'all haven't, go ahead and check out Street Beast West Coast. Check out Damien's fight on there, uh, doing his thing. Make sure that you like and comment on there, and you know, let him Please. know that Scrap and Roll sent you, Mister Man. Um, but if you've been sleeping under a rock and you did not watch UFC two ninety three and you don't know what happened, yo, I don't know what you're doing, but. Sean Strickland walked down Israel at Desanya with a Philly shell, a pressured Philly him, shell. pressured him. I I don't. I actually need to go back and look at the stats to see how many punches Izzy actually landed. Because I don't. Uh, it's hurtful. Was Izzy fighting uh, Floyd? He pretty much was. I mean, like real talk. He couldn't, he couldn't touch think- that nigga. Yeah, Sean. your boy Izzy like missed like 150 strikes or 200 strikes, like something just out of this world, dude. Yeah, we've we've never seen it. Now, let let's get into it. We're just gonna get straight into <laughs> it because like we we could dance around and be like, oh, how was the card? The card was a banger. The whole card mm-hmm. was a banger. We don't even need to get into that. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this because it, it's we don't want to waste too much time. How did y'all? Uh, I'm seeing that, yeah, Izzy, Izzy went for 271 strikes, only netted 94. Wow. Damn. <laughs> like, that's, that's... Debo, damn. How many significant, like zero? Uh, significant strikes, they counted all of his strikes as significant. So 94 oh. out of that 271. Sean Strickland landed 137 significant strikes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who that was. That wasn't Izzy, bro. I don't hey, know who that man. That hey, man was y'all, an y'all remember when Damien was like, hey, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> hey, we, we, ain't nev- we ain't never seen Izzy come out in the red shorts. Like, that's not, that was not Israel Adesanya. Nope. Nope. 
Izzy, Izzy would have did it. Would have did a TikTok dance on that man's corpse. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I, now I don't know if it's more of uh, Sean Strickland beating Izzy or Izzy beating himself by not just pause. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Did Izzy did did Sean win the fight or did Izzy lose the fight? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Cause oh, I agree. Something was off. Like, something was off. Because the, Sean Strickland didn't really fight like a a fighter's type of fight. You know what I mean? He just walked him down and threw a few jabs and stuff. Of course, he dropped him and almost ended it in the first round, which was crazy. Nobody saw that shit coming. And I don't even know how Izzy survived that. Because old boy was trying to get him out of there with the quickness. But after that, he just walked him down with his hands up and, like, you know what I mean? So did he really beat him or more so did Izzy just beat himself because he just didn't show up? Go ahead, CJ. Bro, y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a fucking huge Izzy fan in this house. All of us are. But I'm not going to do that, bro. Sean Strickland went out there and he won the fucking fight. Plain and simple. What we always say, we could do all the math and all that shit. It don't matter. Like like Damien was saying, he walked him down. Is he got rocked and popped in the first round? Dropped him. My face. I was just like, oh, not again, not right now, not nah. not right now. No, don't do not like that. Not, not like Sean. that. But, <laughs> not not this <laughs> nigga, Sean, baby. <laughs> you no. Know, um, as soon as the round was over, real quick, CJ texted me and was like, I can't keep watching this shit every week. <laughs> Every I'm week, like, this is taking years off my life. Facts. I'm like, damn. And then he just couldn't get going. Oh, well, he came back and won the second round barely. It's not like he was a definitive, like he whooped his ass the second round. But he just lost the fight. I'm not going to give this nigga no excuses, no nothing. I'm not going to, you know, fucking put baby powder on his butt paws. Nigga, you lost. Plain and That's simple. Hard. For real, though. You know, ain't no excuses. You got to take your L's how you take your W's, bro. Plain and simple, man. And it's not no, no, I'm not coping, no nothing. Hey, the brother lost. I'm still a fan. It is what it is. I just hate that, you know, Sean Strickland is the champ. It's it's weird. 2023 it's weird. is a whole different dimension, bro. It's we in a weird. whole alternative universe. Francis Ngannou is knocking out Tyson Fury. Hey, that <laughs> might have been a I'll scroll. Put, that might have been a there. scroll fighting. <laughs> We we are in an alternate universe. I right. think that yeah, might have been a universe. scroll, Izzy. Somebody took him from the back, and that's a scroll. <laughs> that's what it is. Hey, but before Jace jumps inside this and pisses me off, um, I'm, I'm gonna say my piece because <laughs> I already know he's gonna make me mad. <laughs> me? Yeah, yeah, you. Um, y- y- y'all know how I feel. Um, Sean Strickland has to get. 90% of the credit, right? Yes. Because, because 95. Styles, yeah, like, you know, Styles do make fights. We always say that. Styles make fight. And may, and I remember leading up to this, um, Eugene and Izzy were talking about, like, somebody had asked him, like, what do you think is Sean's number one, like, thing, like, against you that can work? And Izzy said, well, Eugene said something about his pressure. And that's what we've seen. We've seen that pressure. He couldn't get his jab going. He's in the corner. He's talking about, I can't find my jab. Uh, Eugene is telling him, find the mid-range. Izzy is like, okay, well, where's my mid-range? Is it here or is it there? Go back and watch those corners, uh, those corners, because it, like, it really makes you realize, like, oh, okay, like, this was just, like, a stylistic matchup for Izzy at the time that he just, they could not click on. And if you listen to Eugene's um, uh, post-fight press conference, like, he talks about that. He's like, there was some breakdown that happened inside of the corner where we couldn't get through to him. He couldn't understand us. And we just broke down. But I will say, as an Izzy fan, he he was off. I don't care what y'all say. Everybody has an off night. Just like I sat here and said, hey, I don't know if Robert Whitaker going to win because everybody can have an off night. And Jace was like, nah, blah, blah, blah. Listen, everybody can have an off night. Now, before I bring <laughs> it back to Max Holloway, I'm going to go ahead and let Jace go ahead and get into it. Well, before that, wait a goddamn minute because I said DDP was going to win that fight. So did Roll all the of receipt. us. All of us did, except for Damien. Mm-hmm. First thing I'm going to say before I get into it is that Izzy should be like sacrificing a small goat 
that it was Sean Strickland in there, not DDP beating that facts, ass. Facts. Because DDP would have beat the snot out of that nigga. Would have beat the skin out off of that, that version, nigga. Out of that version. Yeah. Um, so that being said, I am so angry and flustered with the MMA community and everyone's like, nobody's giving Sean Strickland his credit. Izzy had a bad night. Izzy had a bad night. Blah, blah. Nah, fuck that. Izzy got one. Like, like he got beat the fuck up. Now, it wasn't this pure domination of like, you know, just all. But he got beat yeah. the fuck. He got yeah. big brothered. He mm-hmm. walked him down and said, you can't hurt me. I'm standing in your motherfucking face. What are you going to do about it? Sean Strickland didn't take one step back the entire fight, you know. And it, like he talked about it, every time Izzy threw a punch and landed, Sean Strickland didn't matter. Bit down on that mouth guard and fired back. Even y'all talking about giving Izzy uh, or giving Sean 90, 95. Nah, I'm giving Sean Strickland 100% of the credit. I think he took Izzy out of his element. Um, I think Izzy just couldn't figure out that puzzle. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, styles do make fights. And I think that this style is going to give Izzy significant problems. Kind of, let's bring it back to Max Holloway. Max Holloway with Volkanowski. The style just gives him problems. You know what I mean? Um, But shout out to Sean Strickland for winning the title in a dominant fashion, you know, I'll be honest when those scorecards, you know, was coming out, I was like, Oh, I was texting Scott. Like, shit, is they going to give this nigga the title? Like, well, I don't, hometown, I don't, hometown. <laughs> the hometown nah, rub. No way. There's no shit. Way. That, that would be crazy if that hey. happened. Hey. <laughs> no, we've seen it. We've yeah. Seen we have seen some shit. Yeah. yeah. I've seen worse. Oh, so yeah, I'm, oh, giving, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Speak on it. No, but how Sky was saying about the corner, how he was like, "Oh, I can't find, I can't find my jab. I don't know where my midline is." Sometimes that playbook got to get thrown out the fucking window. And remember, yeah. we in a goddamn fight. We in a fight. Exactly. Like, bro, go out there and be like zombie, bro. Like, put it on your back, put it on your shield, and if you are gonna lose, lose like that. Not running around, bro. Like, bro, fight, don't get scrap. On. You get with, with, home, with homeboy dropping his hand screaming at him and he's oh still running God. away. Yeah, shit. You this gotta, shit you gotta fight. I got mad. I said, "Oh, this motherfucker, man!" Listen, you gotta, you gotta fight, the bro. Boy was still running backwards and Sean Strickland was like, "Let's go!" And, yeah. And, and there's a moment there, you guys, where like Izzy cowers. Like you see, like this little boy version of Izzy. He's just kind of like. Like, he kind of, like, tries to laugh it off, but you can tell that yep. he's like, damn. And I was like, oh, my boy Blue. Not my boy out my here. My boy getting- Blue. Yeah. <laughs> how, 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 can, how can you cower off when someone, when oh. you know you down in a fight? Yeah. And your boy's giving you every We've opportunity to, to swing away. Listen, to me, that was, a that was, b- actually, no, fuck it. That was the best part of the fight. Was that last 15, 20 seconds when Sean Strickland was yeah. like, fucking fight me, fight me. I'm right here in your face. Like, you can't let someone be in your motherfucking face, bro, and you don't swing. You still backing up trying to mm-hmm. do all this bullshit. Nah, bro. Hands down, though. With the yeah. hands down. Hands down. <laughs> Just saying, yo, you can't hurt me. You know, that you're not that crazy. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was just, uh, I'm giving all props, all respect to Sean. I don't want to hear any excuses by Izzy. You know what I mean? Not not a one excuse. I don't know if we want to jump into that shit right now because I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't feeling Izzy. I wasn't feeling Izzy with the press conference, you know, the show up. I wasn't feeling it at all. Mm-hmm. And for me to not get all psychological, that's what all the nerds on TikTok and all that shit be doing. But I text Kyle, I was like, well, Maybe this dude slayed his giant and the fights just don't interest him like that no more. You know, he make, he reached the pinnacle of his mountain. He did what he had to do and it's it just not for him anymore. So, but if you're going to sign the contract and you're going to get paid, you have to fight. Plain and simple. I, we don't give a fuck about all that other shit you got going on. And like I'm going to say, I'm a fan. Once you step in the octagon, Ain't no more excuses, baby. You got to scrap, plain and simple, and you ran. And if you're not, if you're not willing to do it anymore, just don't do it no more. It's fine. And I text Sky, and I was like, "Bro, fucked up his legacy. We would have, we would have took him sitting there fighting, going back and forth, losing, losing, whatever. But you were in a scrap. We would have took that. But the way he went out, I was like, "Nah, you tuck tail, bro." Yeah, that's facts. Um, 
let's pause. And then, yeah, he'll be back. Uh, but for me, I guess, uh, and, and Jason and I had kind of talked about it after the fight. Uh, for me, I feel like I always give fighters like Izzy and everyone else the benefit of the doubt, right? Yep. Because when I'm used to seeing a certain version of you, that's what I'm used to seeing. When you deviate from that, I give you a pass the first time. I'm like, ah, okay. Let's see what you do afterwards. He comes back, and we'll get into whether or not he deserves a rematch or whatever that thing may be. We'll get into that. But when he comes back in his next fight, if he looks like who we just saw, I'm going to start being like, ooh, no. If he has a second fight and 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 looks like that, I'm going to be like, all right, my boy. Hey, let's let's preserve that legacy. Let's go ahead and get yeah. him out of here. We mm-hmm. didn't make some money. Um, So I never, like, even with Kamaru, like in Kamaru Usman's next fight, if he comes out and he looks slow, lethargic, not li- like the same Kamara that just fought Leon, I'm gonna be like, uh, maybe it's time, you know. So I always give someone that, you know, that that little bit of lenience, you know. Just like you know, I've been saying all weekend, Max Holloway after the Volkanovski beating, when he was going up against Arnold Allen, everybody was talking like like he wasn't sh- like he wasn't the Max Holloway, and then he had to come back out there and show him. Um, so. Yeah, I, I'm still Team Izzy. I mean, I'm always going to be Team Izzy. You know what I mean? Like, I told right. Chase, like, Izzy would have to do something that involves... He'd have to do something really, really bad for me not to want to be um, a fan of his. Pedophilia. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, can anybody we, wait, wait, anybody can that we, knocks on that door, like, I'm out. I'm out. Can, can we like, just give a shout out to LaShawn Strickson real fast and him, you know, in this quote, no man that beats off the cartoons can beat me. Hey, he a prophet. <laughs> he a prophet. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like Sean Strickland as a human being, so no. No, I can't. Well, that's fair, but nevertheless, he, he spoke truth and, you know, it was it was 100% true. You know what I mean? It was 100% true. No man that beats off the cartoons is going to beat him. So, Oh, my God. This man pisses me off. Oh, <laughs> and, He and came so in right at the right time. Pause. Hey, and, it, and it's so funny because, you know, you're talking about nobody giving him his flowers. Bro. Oh, damn. damn. He glitched. He was going to go dumb. off, too. He went in the major. Look, 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 look at the face, though. The face is like ready to go crazy. Uh, he'll hop back on. Yeah, but guys- another uh, another thing okay. I thought it was weird that he was kind of using the same tactics that he had fighting Alex, trying to fight Sean the same way, backing up, covering, trying to see if he was going to be able to land that one shot. I was like, mm-hmm. man, you can't fight like that every time. What works on this guy is not going to work on this guy. You can't do that. You can't expect that one shot to land and put him somebody out. You got to, you know, you got to pick up the pace and throw some volume um out there. Yeah. Go ahead, Damien. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, uh, you said nobody is giving Sean his flowers, but that's all I fucking see. That's all I saw leading up to the fight. Every little comment section I went to was all yep. about Sean. Now, yes. let me take a step back and ask, is it is it Americans that are just the boldest on the internet? Yes. Always fucking goes Talk about against it. the grain? Talk about it. I think it, it is. Because every time there's like an American doing Shout out to South Africa. Bro. <laughs> the fucking Americans are on it. They not afraid to speak their fucking mind, and everybody loves it and is, and is replying and stuff. And if you say anything about Izzy, they in there fucking dogging on you, yeah. and they'll go back to the comment from two weeks ago and start dogging yep. on you. Yes. Uh, how, how did that? How did that turn out? This is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that didn't age well. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my god, bro, let it go. Yeah, your boy won. All right, you already won. Yeah. yeah. I, I find, and that's that's a topic I'm going to get on a little bit later with, with my rant about the MMA <laughs> fan base. Like, they're just trash. Uh, Jace, how, so you want to go into how you felt about Izzy's post fight? Because you said you had an issue with it. I don't know why. Why wouldn't I? He didn't say anything. Exactly. Okay, but when he came out after getting TKO by Pereira, then everybody's like... Oh my God! He came out. He looked so good. He, you know, he came out. He talked to everybody. He held himself high. And instead, this time he comes out and he says, "Yo, I don't have any excuses. He was a better man tonight. I'm gonna go spend time with my family and my teammates. I'm gonna hand this over to Eugene. I mean, what are you upset about? See, I don't believe that. That's not what he said. He was That's like, "Oh, legitimately no." He, he was like, "There's some other stuff going on right now." That's not what but- he said. No, I didn't hear that. He I said, "He said, regardless of whether I won or lost." 
I wasn't going to say much. That means he wasn't going to do no big ass. Do you believe that? Do, do you I honestly do. Believe- he did that with the last one when he beat <laughs> Pereira. He was there for about 10, 15 minutes. He directed who he was going to take questions from. He cut them off and he left. Go back and watch after he beat 10 Pereira. and 15 minutes is different from a 30 second statement. At the end of the day, why does that get you? Why does that get your panties in a bunch? He don't have to. He never has to come out, right? We know people lose; they never step up there. So he, even the fact that he came out exactly. there was still rare. He then ne- don't come out. Then don't come why? out at all. Why? He wanted his all. coach to have the opportunity to speak and to answer the questions that that's what he wanted to do. But no. why does it infuriate you? He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't come out and say, "I don't hey, like man, it," because I, I don't like it. Night. I don't like it. It sounds like people building on going. I hear there. a vibrator. That's crazy. Uh, I heard it too. Hey, you don't know my life. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna say because. Oh dang! The one in there commenting. You be in there, <laughs> Jace. Be the one that's in there on on Instagram commenting, talk about how did that play out. <laughs> 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 He'd be one of those guys, bro. I should. White America loves Jace. That's the man right there. <laughs> Jace can't be wrong. Hey, he can do no wrong. Not only white America, but white South Africans. Yeah. Just, DDP. just a lighter just a lighter complexion. Not hey, a lighter I've been in South America. Africa. Shout that, out. Moda Moda. Laka Laka. That's why you came on here dropping that hard R. <laughs> Yo, that shit was wild. That was that was we were like, whoa. Bro, bro, so Sean Strickland it. jumped into his body, bro. It was like, yo. Man, Izzy man, just totally disappointed inside yeah. the octagon, outside the yeah. octagon. Um, I mean, it's all hearsay, right? About yeah. oh, will he? Because here's the thing we've talked about on this pod so many fucking times is win or lose, keep that same energy, you know. Shout out to Thug Nasty. Oh, I was sick. Oh, like, like, nah, I don't want to hear excuses. You know, obviously, shout out to Max Holloway when he lost. You know, he had someone like die in his family, correct, Sky? Like a yeah, brother, four sister. Four days before the fight. Four days before the fight. Didn't never ever told anybody about it, but it was known in the circles. You know, still gave zero excuses. That's the type of energy I want. Just like your boy, uh, Cruz. You know what I mean? Oh, man, like, how was your fight camp? Did something go wrong? No. Fight camp was great. Everything was good. He just won tonight. Boom. That's all, that's all I want to hear. When it, when you lose, keep that, same, keep that same energy. He did, though. You don't see it. No, he didn't. Yeah, I yeah. don't think we're going to agree with you. Th- there's no way he kept the same energy. He didn't how say about? anything. He never made an excuse. He said the <laughs> better man yeah. won tonight. He, he said the better man won tonight. tonight. What are you talking about? No, that's that's keeping the same energy. And no. like to, to Sky's point, he didn't even have to go out there. He could have just because taking a, a a loss like that, knowing what the caught what the uh, the Vegas odds were, like everybody put their money on you and you lost like that, bro. You don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> you you want to leave town. You like nah, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> and I actually I actually think that if he would have actually sat there for an interview that. The reporters, like, even as they were asking Dana, like, dang, like, Izzy was off. That was everybody's assessment right after the fight, right? Mm-hmm. So that would have, they would have started asking him questions, like, oh, was he off? Was something wrong? How did the training camp go? And then that starts to, uh, like, push you in that direction. Unless you just stand firm on it, he was a better man, he was a better man, he was a better man, and give a same straight answer, they start trying to create, you know, a narrative for you. Like, I'm creating, because yep. I'm a fan, so I can create whatever narrative I want inside my head <laughs> about what happened that night. You know what I mean? Uh, If a rematch takes place, and we'll get into whether or not he deserves it, but if a rematch takes place, the same result or different? Same. Different. Different. I say different. Ain't no way he just knock, walk, the the same exact result? Nah, hell no. Yeah. Uh, I can't say hell no. I think it's possible now. (laughs) Wait, it it, it won't be the same result. I think LaShawn knocks him out. I think that if they rematch, uh, Izzy wins. I, I, as much as I hated on, Jace knows how long I've hated on city kickboxing and mm-hmm. city kickboxing style. Um, they are extremely good at making adjustments. I mean, th- they're just really good. And I think that whatever uh, disconnect he had, whatever this stylistic matchup was that stopped him from being able to get inside his flow state, I think that they'll make those adjustments and come back out and we'll see a different fight. Um, I do want you guys to remember that uh, Jace was the same guy who said 
for oh Alex Pereira before the fight, who kept saying, "What's going to be different? What kind of adjustments can City Kickboxing make?" So y'all keep that in mind, you know, uh, if this rematch happens. Mm-hmm. Stayed in the pocket with him. wasn't wasn't afraid on the cage. Ended up sleeping. Sounds good. He was one punch away from getting slept. Nope. Now he slept. He got he got the dub. I don't believe the possum. I don't believe it for a oh I don't God. believe it. We've for already a been through wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Is this Jace? Is this Jace saying, oh, it was a lucky punch? No, no, I didn't say it was a oh, lucky he, punch. But he, I did he not did say that. I did not say oh, now no. it was a lucky punch. I said hey, he was on one punch away from getting slept. CJ, you were here when he said it was lucky. Like we got into a whole big thing about lucky. Yeah. Just, he definitely said it. Y'all don't make me pull it up. Don't All right, that. so so let's talk about this. Let's try to move this along a little bit. The rematch or no rematch? Does Izzy deserve a rematch? Um, well, wait. Does Izzy does Izzy deserve a immediate rematch? Damien. Uh see, that's a that's a. I don't know, because when you lose like that, I feel like, oh, maybe let them defend with somebody else one time and then come back. Like, work work on yourself that whole time. Maybe Izzy doesn't need to take another fight. Maybe he just sits on the sidelines and just trains, you know, for however long it takes. But I think, yeah, I think Sean should fight someone else and then see what happens there. Because if it was a closer fight, yes, but the way that it ended, nah. A man with some common sense. Man, you know, I almost gave up on you. Goddamn, son. <laughs> <laughs> CJ? No. No. And it's not that I don't think that he can't beat him or nothing like that, but how Damien said, a fight was a fight, and he, he washed you for four rounds straight, you know? It's like, you got to go out there and fight, my boy. You didn't go out there and fight. Take a little bit of the, Take some time, bro. And it's okay. You he fights a lot as a champion. Five he times. Does. The la- he fought four <laughs> times in the last year. Yeah, that's yes. a lot as a champ. So you know, take that's a little break. And we gotta we gotta understand too. He headlines all of these fucking events too. So it's a lot going on. So it's cool to take take his time off. Let Strickland run run his run his race now. It is is his belt to lose. Go do your thing, boy. He has he has contenders now. Sky? You know, but oh, Greek sorry. Is, Oh, yeah, go ahead. That's it. Um, I think that the first thing we have to realize is that this is the UFC. If this was another organization, Bellator, wherever else, um, Israel Adesanya would not be getting an immediate rematch. Moments after the fight, your boy Dana Moments. comes in there with all the Dana White privilege and says, <laughs> absolutely, this is a rematch. I mean, if he looked off, listen, as me as an Izzy fan says no. I say no because that was a four to one. You lost, and you gotta go and fight somebody else, right? Um, but as the UFC, when we talk about money, because now, now we just we got all this footage of y'all going back and forth, all this back and forth, and you come out here, you get beat like that. We're gonna have the oh, you was off, blah 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 blah. It just builds that storyline. Now Sean Strickland is even bigger with his craziness, right? I love it. I mean, the UFC is going to try to and push this down our throat. And the only thing that pisses me off more is that if Izzy can get a rematch after this was his second, he didn't even get a chance to make his second defense. If he can get a rematch, you better give Aljo his fucking rematch. Then he was on a three. He was on a. Don't do that. (laughs) He was on. He had defended the championship three times. You know what I mean? Like, but and they asked him about it. And Dana tried to dance around it because, you know, either you have Dana White privilege or you don't. Israel Adesanya has Dana White privilege because, let's be honest, this event in Sydney does not happen, nor does it take place if Izzy isn't headlining. Facts. Exactly. Go ahead, exactly. Um, Absolutely, unequivocally, hail to the motherfucking all. Uh, and, and beyond this fight, you know, which was – Pure domination on LaShawn Strickland's part. Let's not forget that Izzy has lost two out of his last three fights. You know what I mean? Uh, who who in history has lost their past two out of their three fights and got a title shot? Uh, probably Kobe Covington. No. Yes. Shout out to Kobe. Yes. Uh, Kobe he is, he's, two, he's, he's two and two in his last four. The way you said, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah. So yeah, Kobe's two and two in his last four. Yeah, uh, there's absolutely no way that he deserves. In my mind, what should happen, and y'all can agree, disagree, I'd love to hear your thoughts, is that LaShawn fights the winner of Cumshot M. Colsta, and then you let Izzy and DDP run it. That's what I would like. But in reality, what should happen is that... Um, DDP fights LaShawn and then Izzy fights the winner of uh, Costa and Cumshot. Daddy Dana said, nah. Daddy Dana said, hey, Drikus said no. Drikus gonna have to fight somebody before he get a title shot. They're gonna make Drikus fight the winner of Cumshot and Costa. Nah, the winner of Cumshot and Costa is fighting um fighting Strickland. Yeah, Do you think so? So where does uh where there's uh, mid tier cannoneer fit into all of this. Hey, because hey, he's right the fuck there. Cannoneer better, better get on that Twitter. He better start going crazy. Because you know what? What did Dana say about why Kobe is getting a fight in the thing? Oh, the backup fighters always get to uh, fight for the time. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, cannoneer, go ahead and pop your shit off. I seen him on one of Dana's posts actually today and was like, hey, Dana, fuck all of this. Because, you know, the UFC just became, um, they just finally TKO. merged TKO. with um, WWE. And so he was on there popping this shit. Hey, get louder, get louder, because you got a win over this boy. Mm -hmm. And you coming what's, off a win. You coming off a dominant, a dominant win. fucking win. That win was fine. What's his rank right now? Win. Jared's what number uh, three? I think four. Let me let me see. No one wants to see Jared Cannon air fight. Yes, I chill, do. Chill, yes, chill, I do. Chill. Really? He, did you see what he just did to Marvin Victoria? Historic. <sighs> Two hundred and forty on his head. What did he do before? Like combination. Still, uh, still hurting. Combination. <laughs> yeah. What did he do before? He beat Sean Strickland. That was the, cha a, the champion. The Your champion. boy. He beat Your the champion. Boy. And, I, and yeah, I don't. And I don't even think he won that fight. <laughs> you don't even know who won that fight because you hated that fight, and we talked about it. How it was a terrible fight. fight. That whole fight. It was. But I you don't even Lashawn know who won, won that, that fight. fight. <laughs> I thought no. Lashawn won the fight. Man, listen, listen, listen. I, I I know that the middleweight division is they hype right now. I mean, Robert Whitaker is talking more than he didn't ever talked in his life. And I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> what happens with him? I was a he got to fight somebody because let me tell you something. All right, y'all. This is the start of my rant of the week. Because <laughs> y'all to piss me off. And y'all know how I feel about Matt Holloway. Now on the way in show, Robert Whitaker was on there with DC and M and they doing they they favorite strikers and blah 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 blah. The best strikers are Right, everybody else there, Laura, DC, and I forget the main host name. Oh, uh, they they have Max Holloway on their list, right? <sighs> Robert doesn't, right? It goes back around. They talking about Max, and your boy Robert decides to interrupt and talk about how this is his words. He says the reason why I didn't put Max Holloway on there is because a part of being one of the best strikers is to hit and not get hit, and he's been hit a lot. And if he had five percent less chin, it'd be a different story. I'm sorry, a motherfucker that got laid the fuck out several times cannot have an opinion about a chin. Stop fucking talking about some, some you don't even have it. You don't even have it to have a fucking opinion. On top of that, now everybody has has Izzy on their list, right? Izzy's on my striker list, but guess what? He's been dropped. All these people that y'all put up there and y'all talk about, they have Volkanovski on the list. Guess what? He's been dropped by Islam. He's been dropped by Pillow Hands, Max Holloway. Mm -hmm. Hey, these people ain't built like that. And Max Holloway has been in the UFC. Next February will be 11 years. He's been in the UFC That's currently crazy. for 10 years. Had to go on a 10-fight win streak just to end up getting close to an interim shot. He wasn't even going to get that interim shot. I can't remember what the main event was that fell out. That's the only reason why he got that against Anthony Pettis and put them paws on him, broke that man down. He is... Listen, stop <laughs> fucking playing with Max Holloway and stop talking about him. Secondly, the reason why we rank Alexander Volkanovsky so high is because of what he did to Max Holloway. You're not looking at the rest of his resume and talking about, oh, yeah, that's great. He had to do that to Max Holloway for motherfuckers to sit back and be like, oh, he might be that guy. He's that guy. He's the he's the pound for pound number one. Oh, he's on the verge of being the GOAT. So when y'all keep talking about Max Holloway, shut the fuck up. When y'all keep talking about these strikers, yes, it's striking about hitting and not getting hit. Yes, but when you get hit, what happens? Y'all fold like a lawn chair. Shut up. 
That's it. Mm-hmm. Let him know, Sky. Let him <laughs> know. It. Y'all fall like some respect here. on Max. It's crazy. And Sky's, a hey, Sky's Runner of the Week is brought to you by Scrap and Roll MMA. Our merch is in the link in our bio. <laughs> that hey. is sponsored. <laughs> but like a chin, a chin, and and being tough and durable like that is something that you can train, right? Stop sparring so fucking hard all the time. Get your motherfucking nutrition right. You know what I mean? Just it's it's Stop little simple doing shit. Stop drugs. Stop drinking. Max Holloway exactly. don't drink. He don't do drugs. That's what I'm like, saying. Like y'all are y'all are weirdos with that, and I, I'm so sick and I'm so over it. You know, I was rooting for Robert, but when you start, when y'all start talking about Max, same thing with Ilya. Hey, don't be, do be it. nice. He got. He got little concussions going on. <laughs> be, be nice to Robert. He ain't thinking. He ain't thinking the same. Hey, you're right. You're right. I mean, drink has put you out. <laughs> we... I grappled you, then dropped you. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, how do y'all think if they do do Drinkus versus Sean? How y'all think that plays out? Drinkus. I think Drinkus is will be the fucking champion. <laughs> people, people trying to give. Uh, it would, it would, but it would be nice to have a real African champ though. Just saying. I ain't about to do that with you. <laughs> I was gonna say people try to say that uh, Sean Strickland could defend takedowns and stuff because his hands are down here, and if someone shoots, he doesn't have to like drop his hands and stuff. I don't see that shit happening. I see him getting getting wrapped up and taken down, which I'm surprised that uh, Izzy didn't even try to clinch this nigga. He didn't try that's, anything different. That's what we were saying too. I can't so let confused. you get close. Hey, yeah. Izzy, Izzy tasted that power and was like, I can't let you get close. Shout out to us on it. Yep. Shout so, out to So, yeah. I got DDP for that one, for damn sure. Mm. But um, I don't got DDP beating Izzy. That's I don't have him beating Izzy either on some real shit. I think cool. uh, 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 DDP, I don't think he beats Izzy. That's a lie. I, no, like I really don't think he beats Izzy. What, you think he knocks him out? Because you have I been think, saying this whole no, time. I think that he beats the shit out of Izzy. Yeah, I knew you was going there. I knew you was going yeah, there. That's true. I knew that's you was going there. That's really crazy. Listen, I, I can't stand Sean Strickland. I think he's a trash human being. I think he's a trash person. Um, I think that as I was going through the comments, like this whole week just leading up to the fights, like the MMA fan base is so trash. In, in a way that's just ridiculous and there's really no reason for me to get into it because most of y'all are the people that I'm talking about right now. So y'all just going to mm. come at me with smoke just because I'm talking <laughs> about you. But X. at the end of the day, this is a mixed martial arts, right? And yep. so what, like the very first thing in martial arts is supposed to be about honor and respect. And when we get these characters like Sean Strickland and Kobe Covington and Conor McGregor, who just get out here and say wild, outlandish stuff. You start crossing those lines into family, religion, you know, like stuff that has nothing to do with your opponent, has nothing to do with the fight that's getting ready to take place. Where's the honor and the respect in that? And I know that the UFC is a business, so that gets pushed because it sells. But at the end of the day, you know, we do have fighters out there who are respectful, who 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 still do their banner, who still, you know, are popular, but they're not out here just talking wild and reckless. The stuff that Sean Strickland says is disgusting, it's disturbing. And the fact, like Damien was saying, that, like, if you look at the comments, like, that people are agreeing with him. Like, they standing 10 toes down. Like, this is how they think and how they feel. And we just entered into, like, an era where it's just, like, a whole bunch of, what's that? What's that weirdo's name that, um, whatever they call him, Top G? What's his name? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Andrew, Andrew something. Andrew Tate. Yeah, Tate. Andrew, Andrew Tate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, we entered into this era where, like, you just got a whole bunch of insecure young incels. men. Incels. That's exactly what it is. You have a whole bunch of insecure incels who are all on the internet, rah, 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 and trying to get women back inside of the kitchen, bare feet and pregnant, and they can't lead a fucking <laughs> dog to the, to the park. But you trying to... Listen... Stop the madness. Like, bring the respect back to... I know, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to rant. Too, but bring the respect back to martial <laughs> arts. Like, like nah, I feel you. Yeah, I, the, I don't know. The people that are commenting, too, are people that don't fight. They're sitting at home on the couch enjoying the fights because they spending time with their boys the whole time or, you know, playing video games and doing whatever they do, you know. But they always got the loudest and strongest opinions that everybody agrees with because they all doing the same shit and they all think the same because they're all fucking sheep. 
Do, 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 do you have to fight to have an opinion? No, no, absolutely not. But it's 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 more of show some respect to people who fucking put their lives on the line for your entertainment while you're sitting at home cooking hot dogs and sitting on the couch. Yeah. First of all, they're called wieners, not hot dogs. <laughs> they're called glizzies. Glizzies. And these, and these fighters don't even get paid that well. They don't even got health care and shit, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Fair. Uh, I... So Ripley's, believe it or not, I almost next to never go into the comments. It's a good thing. Stay I just out. don't. Um, but you know that's what makes sports great is is the banter. Whether we adamantly, you know, disagree with someone or not, you know what I mean. Even here on the pod. Uh, you know, sometimes we're all in unison, and sometimes I'm the only one r- 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 right. Like I don't understand. That's just the way it is here. Sometime on the show, but you know, it is what it was. What you looking around for? You, <laughs> hey, this man, Damien. Hey, Damien is wild, bro. He's a wild boy. He's a wild boy. <laughs> so, oh, but, nah, but you, you're, you're other right, than that, bro. shit. I'm over that nigga. How'd y'all feel about the car though? Like one out of ten. The car was good. I enjoyed it. Card for me, nine point seven out of ten. Wow, that's a high. That's high for you. That's the highest he done ever rated a card. Yeah, I think so. Because and and that is okay. Yes, it does have something to do with the awe of seeing Izzy get dethroned, but the fights themselves. People were going like I was. I was talking Sky during the event. I was like, it wasn't even that like there were this big dominations because yes, people were, but there were some good fucking fights, like straight street fights in phone booths. You know, I mean, people just bludgeoning each other. And as you got to pull it up right now, my man Felipe Dos Santos, man, like he shout out to Felipe. I'm this glad man, you brought that one up. This yep. man gave me, made me a fan. You know, yep. especially the last 25 se- seconds of the fight when when uh, Cape took him down. Your boy was throwing elbows at the bottom. You know, reminding me of Tony Ferg. Just I was about to say that too. Blades <laughs> and shades. Blades yep. and shades. It was great. Yeah, he he definitely has a, a a new fan out of me right now. He reminded me like of young Charles. And he's so young, he don't know no better to not just, hey, I'm going to step in. I'm fighting number 10 on the biggest stage. I'm going to fight. I don't give a fuck if I win or lose. In losing, you still going to win because you put on a show being 22, 23 years old, fighting the number 10. You don't know no better. So he was out there scrapping, getting popped, kept coming forward. Like you said, like really fighting though. Like yep. you, you win or lose, you didn't got a fan base now. Yep. People are gonna tune into your next fight and they know your name. So yeah, shout out to him, man, because people don't do that shit, Izzy. <laughs> oh. Facts. Oh, I, listen, I was thinking the same thing. Like, damn, he Izzy Izzy should have been taking notes of this nigga, bro. <laughs> hey. Damn, I'm sad. Um yeah, Felipe, he came out, he did his thing. Um if I'm not mistaken, I think they said that he also was like in the same fighting hub as Diego Lima's, right? I think mm. they might have said that that like he's in the y'all know y'all remember Diego? He came out, fought mm-hmm. against uh oh boy, and almost almost won that fight, and then came back and got the first round sub like with the, like, oh the you talking about Diego Lopes? Diego Lopes. Lopes, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna rate the card. Yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. It it, it was bangers from the very start. There were lots of finishes. It was fun. It was rocking. <laughs> Wait a second before we before we shoot through this because I know we got a lot of stuff to get to and and we're running short on time. Number one, my man Justin Taffa. Oh my god, Justin Taffa hey. finished that motherfucker like on a street fight. Like that was straight world star. Hard yeah. to watch. Thank God someone was there to pull you off because this motherfucker was trying to cave your face in, bro. Trying hey. to literally cave his face in. Yeah, he said, he said he ain't doing no more botched uh, walk off KOs. He said I'm finishing them. You gonna have to pull me off. True words yeah. have never been spoken. Yeah, yeah, he got that I, back in blood too. That was that was for the eye poke. Facts, facts. 
Mm-hmm. Those, mm-hmm. Hey, oh, hey, shout oh, out to my hot boy summer, uh, Tyson Pedro and Carlos Uber. And we'll be your head. <laughs> the pleasure man. Oh my God. Hey, he was I not feeling pleasure. I not at all. <laughs> I told y'all he was trash from the beginning. Like, I can't stand him. Um, and Carlos, they did their thing. Okay, um, pause for a second. We got to talk and let's keep it brief because we're running short on time. What was up with people using that? F bomb and oh, not F-U-C-K, yeah. hey, bro, not oh, F U C K. No. People were wild, yeah. like, like, like straight 1998, like verbiage, you know. I was like sitting there, like twi- two times, Twice? bro. <laughs> Twice? Yeah, you know? and and it, um, me, me and Sky talked about this for a second. Don't, don't issue an apology. Just just keep it moving. The way that rolled off your tongue, it ain't the first, it ain't the last. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. you just start to think about your bag, bro. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want to hear your half-hearted apologies, you, man. Especially you after why? that fight. Hey. After the fight oh, that yeah. he did with Blood Diamond, it was terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I was going to say, it's crazy how Dana White always tries to defend all these people for what they say and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, they have rough, these guys have rough backgrounds. And <laughs> it's like, nah, bro, come on, it's 2023. Like, they should know better. Like, this is cancel culture, bro. First of yep. all, you ain't even that nigga yet. So, <laughs> right, what are you, you ain't LaShawn. <laughs> you canceled before you even get started. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, so, and y'all saying this on Mickey Mouse channel? Oh, make it up. Ooh, that fine probably crazy. Oh, oh yeah. man. Oh yeah, he probably ain't fighting on on another like any other type of card if it ain't pay per view. <laughs> yeah. And and, and Manil, he was another one who dropped it. And I don't think Manil, I, I don't think he issued an apology or had anything else to say. No, I don't think. And, I like it. I, I like it. Not that he said it. Don't. But don't issue the apology. My don't, thing don't, is, don't be that guy. Coming into this, I really like Manel, but then at the press conference when he started popping off at Kai Kara, and then afterwards had the nerve to talk about, mm-hmm. yeah, I told, I told uh, Izzy to pay attention to his opponent. I'm sorry, you did a whole press conference talking and throwing water bottles at Kai Kara friends. You just happened to win this fight, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like, you were about to be in the exact same situation. Um, I get it. Your last four opponents have pulled out. Blah blah blah. You upset, but like, I, I didn't like his energy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm good off. But that's that's Jason's type of guy, though. Mm-hmm. He what? loves the, he loves he loves the <laughs> WWE persona of just going out there and throwing shit. And he just put bullshit. him with you, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> what's, up with, what's up with this word association? And yes, Jason's I do. Boy. I do love a good promo, you know. Like, but but there's ways. Like Uncle Chell, you know, Uncle Chell used to have the greatest promos. People forget it. I'm never forget the one with Joe Rogan interview. I was like, Joe Rogan, how does it feel next to stand? the greatness to breathe greatness <laughs> oh, is air one, you yeah. know what i mean like it's such a great interview or even um the 911 the 911 great i yeah. do like a good post fight but dropping the f bomb is not it no nah, that's know, crazy yeah, not that. uh, and, and um, let me just set the record straight really really fast you know just so y'all know i'm so left of the left i'm left handed like i am left Left, dude, extreme left. I didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Man. in in my world, Bernie Sanders is a centrist, not a progressive. <laughs> I'm to the left of Bernie Sanders, just just so we all know. Yeah, that's a whole another time. Hey, don't make your fan base turn against you now. Hey, it is what hey, it was. I'm gonna know, keep it you moving. Know, uh, hey, all all them uh, all them uh, UFC fan base, they all Trumpers, heavy oh, yeah. Trump. Heavy on the Trump. Can't uh, be let's me. Get, let's get to this weekend. Noche UFC. Let's go. Let's go. We got you. I'm gonna tell, gonna tell you this right now. Y'all gonna be mad at me because I'm not gonna pick the main fucking fight. So I'm gonna fuck what not. you gotta say. Hey, <laughs> I don't care. Listen, <laughs> CJ ain't gonna ever pick between anybody from Mexico and Valentina. Ever. Nope. I love them both. The <laughs> queen and the princess. So whatever. It's it's a um, win-win for me. They have this as a fight night, uh, which made the tickets the tickets cheaper here in Vegas. Um, but there's still a whole bunch of tickets left. So if y'all are in the surrounding areas of Vegas or whatever, and y'all want to like get like cheap tickets to be, and be able to come and see this championship fight, hey, stop in. Um, this card has had nine cancellations. Yeah, nine cancellations all together. Yeah. This is supposed to be um, Kelvin Gastelum versus Shavkat. 
uh, D Rod versus Ponzinibbio. There were some other bangers on here, but instead, uh, we got Alexa Grasso d- trying to defend her title against you know what Valentina Shevchenko, Kevin Holland taking on Jack Della, uh, Ryo Rosas Jr. taking on Terrence Mitchell, and Daniel's I can never say his last name, Zellberger. Right? It's, it's, it's pronounced. Zuber. It's pronounced Bob. Bob, I think you're gonna say Zuber. Bob. Um, that's where it kind of starts falling off. Like this is where like the last couple fights. Like Loopy is good too, but Loopy yep. was supposed Loopy. to be. Elise Reed was supposed to be fighting against uh, Sylvia Calvillo, but I don't yep. know what happened. Yep. I, I guess I guess Cynthia got hurt or something. I scroll down to my girl. Tracy Cortez is back. Gayat. Shout out to the Gayats out Tracy. there. Hey, the Roman oh, hey. The Russian yeah. Chase Hoopers in the Hey, building. Russian Chase Yeah, Hooper. I'm excited. I'm glad they right added there. him to there because he'd be scrapping. Yeah. Tracy, slide right into there. the DMs. Tracy, yeah. slide into the DMs. Don't this be scared. dude right here, he'd be scrapping too. Tracy is not. She Who is that? She would hey, be lucky. This is Daniel Lacerda. He'd be scrapping. Oh, yeah. That's the dude that was running. Which he dude? fought CJ Vergara, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, no, that CJ was running from. Yeah, 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 CJ yeah. CJ was like, yeah, "Hey, yeah. I gotta get it back." <laughs> and then CJ came back and uh, hey, he and, won. And, and, yeah, yeah. Hey. CJ He'd always have a special too. place in my heart because mom is so real. She's so cool. Yeah, facts. Um, yeah. So on paper, the cars looking like eh, but hey, we 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 trashed two ninety three. We said it was the worst pay per view. And, and they was in there banging. So hopefully, Fire. just like that, just like that, like we always hope that the cars that don't look good on paper always end up being solid, being fire. But let's get into the top three fights, right? Um, who y'all got, Raul Rosas or Terrence? I'm going. And if y'all don't know who Terrence is, that's the guy that Kyra Car France fought on the Ultimate Fighter, and Kyra Car France knocked his ass out. And then uh, Simon, what's his name? The other South African. He just fought Cameron. him too. Yeah. Yep. So, so, so that was his only fight. This is his second fight in the UFC. Mitchell. Yeah. What's I'm going record? for Rosas. What's his record? I we know who you going for. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's 15 and three. And he's 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 tall for the division too. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what? Terrence. I'm gonna go with him because Rosas. Man, I mean, like you said, we all have off nights, but like, <laughs> man, <laughs> that one just that one's just on rerun in my head. Every time I see him now, I'm like, damn. So I got a quick question. You know how me and Jace was kind of kind of backing roses, and y'all was just like, yeah, he got it. So what if he get dog walked in this fight? What what should they do with him? I, I don't still, think he's gonna get dog walked in this. Fight. I think he's gonna win. I I, I think he's gonna win. <laughs> But if he doesn't, and if he does, in fact, get dog walked by Terrence Mitchell, I'm gonna come back on here and be like, developmental contract. That don't mean you gotta get kicked out, right. but you gonna have to go develop somewhere where it's a little bit more safe. Who y'all got, JDM or Kevin Holland? Well, no, you didn't say who you got, uh, Rose. Oh, 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 let's point out the fact that your boy Jace has to come on here and act like, oh, I'm the Obi Wan Kenobi. I got, I got I, all the. I'm hot that dude. Kid. He didn't. 98 percent last week i'm a 98 percent on the he year didn't wanna, he didn't want to go on any of the cards except the ones he was sure about and got them wrong so i was 98 <laughs> i'm 98 percent on the year oh you just make on the number. year so on the year no he's right <laughs> listen to him Don't you know listen you know him. you know all these episodes is recorded, <laughs> recorded. <laughs> I, I've, I've successfully picked 98 out of 100 fights this year 98 <laughs> this man i'm telling y'all <laughs> Just be making up stuff. All right. Uh, so who you got, Jace, Raul, or Terrence? You ain't gonna skip high. Oh shit. Um, I'm gonna tell you this though. I follow Raul on TikTok. He just popped up out of nowhere. This motherfucker did just get a little girlfriend. So I don't know if he's okay. taking life serious right now. So you know how little niggas get oh, when they get girlfriends. Now. Yeah, they hey, start tripping. So. Hey, who's who's hey. beating his meat? Oh my god! Hey, he's a young man, and he, and he ain't the, he ain't the hey, that best USC looking, money. So. Hey, that should be talking. Could you Not imagine really. like w- waking up and that's the first thing you see? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, chill, chill, chill. I ain't chill, gonna chill, make fun chill. of him. I ain't gonna. Make I know. Fun I don't want to make fun of him. Hey, but uh, on a side note, does anyone here like baby Ruths? Don't even answer this. Mm. I don't even know where this is going. I don't even know where this is going. <laughs> Baby Ruth. Stop. <laughs> you, I had to walk it in for you. I had to walk it in for you. 
He didn't know. Uh, I had no idea. It went over my head. I was like, uh, get you. Let me hit you with the, the, the Mortal Kombat. Get over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. But we still going to make you pick. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Viva la raza, way. All right. Okay. Uh, Holland versus JDM. JDM. Fuck Kevin Holland. JDM. And I, I love Kevin against- Holland. Like, as a fighter, I love him. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I feel like this this ain't th- this ain't a good matchup for him. I will always pick against Kevin Holland no matter who he fights. JDM. <laughs> oh, man. Um, this, this is a hard pick for me because I'm like, all right, we didn't see Kevin. How many times this year? This is the third time seeing him? Three. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think so. But, like... Sometimes yeah. too much activity, you know, could be a lot. All right, guess not. We only seen him versus Ponza Nibio. Yeah, this will be our third time seeing him. Ponza Nibio and then Kiesa. Um, but they were kind of quick back to back. Not back to back yeah. to back, but like it was kind of within a short period of time. When did he fight Kiesa? Like I didn't know a month they, ago. The time did they yeah. fight? Yes, I, yeah, when you were yes, I didn't show up. Did they? Oh, fight? that's when you were supposed to bick your head, huh? I yeah. did. I did. Oh. I did. Yeah, th- that was July 29th. So here we are, September 16th. I did. Um, you know, Shit so he's a month away. Again. Yeah, and then he had fought April 8th, and then he fought in July. Now he's fighting again. So that, that close activity, although it's a par with him, because he fought five times in 2020, I'm still kind of just like, ah, that's a bit much. But Jack is coming off a pretty, uh, yep. uh, off a, Quick turnaround to a fight which I thought he lost. I thought he lost to the newcomer that came in just to fight him on like Facts. seven days notice. That was that was a, that was a banger. Um, and that was July fifteenth. Did lose. So, but I, I, if I had to pick, I, I would go with Kevin Holland. And y'all know I don't fuck with Kevin Holland. But if I had to, I would go with him. But it's gonna fuck be a nigger. good fight. It's gonna be a good fight. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, that fight is super, super interesting. I'm rocking with Kevin. I'm going with Kevin. I'm and this, this is a good, this is a good test card. for JDM too. Yeah, we're it's a real good test for JDM. JDM is, mm-hmm. And we're gonna see Kevin Holland's because JDM got good hands. Like he got some good yeah. boxing on him. You know what I mean? And, and Kevin is Kevin is ain't too bad either. So it'll be interesting to see like how he comes out and fights him. I th- yeah, it's a really ain't good fight. Ain't they about fight. the same height and reach too, or no? Kevin I think uh, Kev that. might be a little taller. Kev is definitely taller. Gotta be. Kev is what, 6'2? Yep. About 6'2. Mm. <sighs> I say it once and I say it again. Fuck Kevin Holland. <laughs> <laughs> but Jay, uh, All right. Who, who y'all got that? for the main but, event? But, but yeah, you know you got an American you. flag with him, right? I don't care. Listen, man. Listen, listen. Okay, a lot of people say when when Trump became president, I'm just gonna leave the country. <laughs> Nigga left. You did. I don't talk about it. I be about it. You did. Oh. And you was gone all that time. <laughs> And that's, Man, hey, that's listen, listen, when Jace came back after Trump was no longer president, he was like, hey, America's different. He came back and was shell-shocked by how different America was. Yeah, damn, you came back to a whole new world, huh? Really that's wild. Wow. Shout out to Aladdin. He was shocked. <laughs> hey, but uh, so who we got, Valentina or, or Alexa? Damien? Oh, psh, you know who I'm going with. I'm going with Valentina. I was surprised she lost <clears throat> the first time. I was pissed. That was another uh, Izzy moment for me, honestly. That one hurt. Mm. But, I, you know, I like Alexa Grasso, too. Like, she was one of my favorite fighters to watch. But going against Valentina, you know, I'm, I'm always going to rock with Valentina. So, um, I think for me, it's a real coin flip. I'm not really, like, Valentina. strong about either or. Um, but I think gun to my head. Uh, I'll take Valentina as well. She'll make the adjustment. She'll get it done. CJ's abstaining and Scott. Yeah, I'm not picking this one. Now listen, leading up to this, this whole time, I was like, now y'all know I picked Alexa Grasso in the first in their first fight. I, I wanted Alexa to win, right? The second fight, I was still leaning toward Alexa. I was like, hey, sometimes they say that 30% having that belt makes you 30% better. And then I was texting CJ. And I said something about how Volkanovski, I put Volkanovski and Valentina like in the same sentence. And at that moment, 
it hit me like a ton of bricks. I said, oh, goddamn, Valentina about to come out here. <laughs> Valentina about to win this fight. Because Valentina has the skill set, right? I mean, I know yeah. she she didn't look her best against Taya. Uh, and then she comes up to the Alexa Grasso fight. And so we, we tend to, like, you know, mm-hmm. like, forget. But don't get me wrong. I will be ecstatic if Alexa Grasso defends her belt against Valentina. But I just... I just something in the water is just feeling like Valentina's about to come out here mean, like real mean, like putting them paws on her. And like, I, I don't know. Yeah, she gonna she <laughs> gonna bring that Tiger Muay Thai out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah throwing right. them kicks. Mm. Uh, before we get out of here, because we need to start knocking out some more of the hot takes, and maybe in the next episode we do a hot take episode because they're, they're coming in my inbox and I, I need to get them out. So let's get this one that I, I like the best from this week. It's from uh, on Instagram at Ivan.VIP. He asks, between, hold on, between, uh, with MMA fighters only, who is your dream bare knuckle matchup? <sighs> all right, mine. all right. I got mine. All right, let's hear it, Damien. I would love to see. Mike Perry versus Conor McGregor, bare knuckle. <laughs> Man, that's a good one. Crazy, that'd be crazy. Conor too small. Get that nigga out of there. He he is small in comparison. Uh, not, maybe not this uh, Conor because his nose take up that whole uh, fucking ring now. This Conor is different. You talking about you talking about the <laughs> the, the horse meat Conor? Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't talking. We ain't talking Usada Conor. Who you got, CJ? Uh, I don't really have nobody on the top of my head, but the first. Name that I think would do amazing was uh Kimbo Slice. Mm. If Kim, uh, R.I.P. Kimbo, if he was uh, like yeah, in his R. heyday, R. in his heyday, I would like to see Kimbo in bare knuckle boxing. I think he would do amazing. Him fighting, I don't know who he would be fighting, but I would love just to have just throw that. someone in there. Just throw someone uh, in there. Tai Tuivasa versus him. Baker, <laughs> <laughs> somebody <laughs> dying tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> somebody not oh. gonna make it home. <laughs> Shit. Damn, I didn't even think about it. First of all, I didn't even think about Kimbo. That's a good one, bro. Against Ty. Damn, bro. Sky, who you got? Um, I'd like to see. I'd like to see uh Justin Gaethje versus Eddie Alvarez. Mm, King of hardcore. Yeah. Cause he's already Eddie already fought in um in bare knuckle just recently. Oh and yeah, versus beat, Chad. And yeah, yeah and he beat uh, Justin in MMA, mm-hmm. and I want to see what them paws look like on on, uh, on Justin without uh, you know just pure bone. Fair. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Can I can I throw another one out there real yeah. quick? All right. What about Michael Chandler versus Chad Mendez? Yes. That's a good one too. Yes, well, like, I'm gonna I'm say like, uh, they like they damn near the same person in my head. That's yeah. fair. Facts. I'm gonna say that CJ's is the best. Like, damn, I don't even want to say my shit anymore because I'm so <laughs> I'm just thinking about seeing Ty and Kimbo. But what the one that really came to my mind, um, you got to throw in Mike Perry, and I would love to see Mike Perry now against. The axe murderer, oh, Vandalay Vandalay. Silva. Vandalay Silva against Mike Perry and Bare Knuckles. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm talking about Pride Axe Murderer, you know. Jamba Juice say? Axe Murderer. You know. I was going to say, he's going to get laid out nowadays. <laughs> yeah, Vandalay was one, meant to fight Bare Knuckle. You know? Yeah. He was, meant, he was built for it. So just like Mike Perry. Mike Perry is built for Bare Knuckle. Yeah, I was going to say that. That's, exactly. that's, that's for him. What about Derek Lewis? <laughs> nah, Derek Lewis can't take a punch like that. I feel like oh, <laughs> that's fair. I really, I, I I really feel fair. like I really feel like Derek Lewis is like he could he can dish it, but he can't take it. That's like one of them type of fighters. Mm. <laughs> that's the you know yeah. what? I, you know what? I think that's a good read. Real shit. Yeah, it, when you think about it, yeah. Um, Francis. Francis is gonna kill oh, some kill somebody. He's gonna yeah, knock nah. somebody's face off. <laughs> oh That's like Francis and Ty. 
<laughs> God, not <laughs> friends will kill that nigga, bro. <laughs> that, that ain't that ain't even a lie. Hey, it is let like, y'all not forget how Francis came out against Rosen Street. Just oh, spamming the God hooks. Damn. Spamming the hooks. High chin. <laughs> Hey, they both was no. Nah, I blame both of them for that. Hey, <laughs> it Francis was who going land first? Francis came off slept. on a leash. He was sleeping on the cage, and Francis was still like still nah. hitting him on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I oh, wouldn't man. like to. I wouldn't want to see Max do it, but I think he'll 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 be good at Max bare knuckles. Would not do well in bare knuckles. Uh, nah, I think I'm he'll do all right. That. I think Max he'll do all right. Do well in bare knuckle. I think he'll do all right. Bare knuckle is kind of hard for me to watch. To be real, like I don't watch it. I, up, I don't watch it, up. bro. You, all right, so all the cuts and scrapes and shit, bro. It be their hands that look the worst. They swollen yeah. like balloons, bro. There's a reason we wear gloves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like there's a reason for that, bro. Because you know how long it your hands aren't gonna heal right. You need surgery. Yeah. yeah, and real fast while we was talking about, it, I was speaking about Vandalay. People need to put some respect on that man's name because Vandalay Civil was a fucking murderer. Vandalay yeah. Civil was a fucking gladiator. You go watch yeah. him his old Pride days, dude. Yeah. Seeing him just sleep the fuck out of a uh, rampage, rampage. You know what I mean? Uh, Aurora, like just. Ah, just a berserker, like just right here. Bum, yeah, like, bum, 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 yeah, bum. he had like signature hooks for some yeah. reason. They were like hey, so, out so of pocket. Coming, so that's who. Uh, that's who. Um, Jessica and Josh trying to imitate. Yep. Yeah. A lot of it. A lot of her style hey, is like that. Jessica just hook <laughs> box. He's the only person from back in the day where I would look at him. I'm like, I'm kind of generally scared of this guy. This his face was always so mean looking and shit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, I ain't and, like. And, like I'm, <laughs> That part, and his yeah. name looked like it really mean like he'll fuck somebody up like that too. Hide your oh, body right. type shit, you know? Like hell no. <laughs> <Not hide> your <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide yeah, your wife. Yeah, for real though. Yeah, people just people just don't know about how much of a monster he was. And then as well, he also has like, you know, the 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 greatest stare down in MMA history. You know, it's him and up. him against Krokop. If y'all have never watched it, stop what you're doing, press pause, and go watch his stand down against Mirko Krokop. That that is scary, dude. That is scary. I can't let you yeah. get yep. close. Yep. Next. I'm gonna but, wrestle your ass right away. <laughs> <laughs> uh but we will be back next week. We'll find out what happens with you know Grasso, Shevchenko. And, you know, maybe we'll hear an update from Izzy and what's going on over there. But until then, we are out. Peace.